A household size in a certain neighborhood varies from 1 to 6. The probability distribution of the size of a random household x is as follows. Notice in the first row we have the possible household size. In the second row we have the corresponding probability. Our goal here is to find the expected value or mean. To find the expected value or mean of a discrete random variable, we need to find the sum of the products of the outcome and the corresponding probability. To do this, we organize the information in a table where in the first column we have the outcomes, in the second column we have the corresponding probabilities, in the third column we find the product of the outcome and the probability, and then we sum this third column. Notice most of the table has already been completed for us. Here we simply enter the missing values. If we take a look at the first row though, notice how we have x equals one, the probability x equals one is equal to 0.15 from the table, and then x times the probability is equal to one times 0.15. So for x equals two, the probability x equals two is 0.17 from the table. In the third column we have two times 0.17, which equals 0.34. For x equals three, we already have the probability of 0.32, and therefore in the third column, we need three times 0.32, which we already given is equal to 0.96. For x equals four, we already have the probability x equals four as 0.2. In the third column, we have four times 0.2, which is 0.8. Next, when x equals five, we're missing the probability. The probability x equals five from the table is equal to 0.14. In the third column, we already have five times 0.14, which is equal to 0.7. For the next row, when x equals six, we already have the probability x equals six as 0.02 from the table. In the third column, we need the product of six and 0.02, which is equal to 0.12. And now to find the expected value or mean, we sum the third column which is 0 0.15 plus 0 0.34 plus 0 0.96 plus 0 0.8 plus 0 0.7 plus 0 0.12, which is equal to 3.07, which is the mean or expected value, which we indicate using the notation shown here below, E of X equals 3.07, which means if we select a random household, we would expect the household size to be approximately 3.07. I hope you found this helpful.